Ah! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> hey guys, me longbow's back. I've been practicing with this warbow and that new draw technique, and I've found out some things I hope you like. Stay tuned. Okay, so that's only been one day of practice with this bow, and what I've found is now I don't have to, I don't have to lean back. I can treat it just like whenever I shoot on this side of the bow, whether it be with thumb draw or Slavic. The reason being, the more comfortable I got with it, the more natural and more instinctive and more fluid I could be, and I could relax my bow position and still, as long as I could see what I needed to see, it worked, whether it was tilted this way or this way. So now, because it's more comfortable for me, I've also gotten down that awesome military draw technique, elbow high, back, down, so it's becoming more natural, more fluid. So once that draw technique became less awkward for me, I was able to go ahead and put some focus on my bow arm and what the bow is doing. And with that, I realized that I wanted to keep moving my hand down. So when you shoot with a thumb draw, and even with Slavic, your bow, your bow hand has to come down a little bit because your arrows have to be knocked high. So they have to be knocked a little higher than your hand. It's not level like if you're shooting Mediterranean. Now that may not work for everyone. I'm different in the way I do things. I'm just giving you my experience. But I am finding that it's the arrows are flying better by me just moving my hand down about an inch. So I have knock high. And I'm still shooting three fingers on this side of the bow. But now I'm able to use this draw technique in a more natural way. And I'm able just to focus with my eyes. And I'm able to keep the bow like this or even closer to like this as long as I can still see it's working. See? Go through the draw, come back, settle, and I find that I have to come down because sometimes to draw this heavy weight, I'm up. And I have to come down so I can see what I'm looking at. And that's described in one of those videos that I shared the link below in uh, the other video I posted. But, so it should work whether it's on this side or this side. It just takes some time for you to get comfortable with it. Okay, those first several shots were about 10 yards. This is 18 to 20. Let's see how it does. I'll take that for a first try. Let's keep, let's keep going. Same spot again. Again. My fingers aren't bothering me because I decided to wear this today. <laughs> Not the best, but one day. A really heavy bow for me in a new shooting style. getting closer okay so I moved it back just to see how well I could do with this new shooting style being just you know a couple of days one day a little more than a day of practice with it um, I'm gonna go back to the 10 yard mark and this is where I suggest everyone starts five to ten yards when they're starting anything new in archery or if they're just new to archery start close work on body mechanics get fluid get consistent and then when you're hitting your mark then start moving it back a few steps at a time. Okay, take it slow. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Your ego will always defeat you. Just ignore it. Don't worry about the other guys or other people at the range shooting at further than you. 
If you're new to it, start close, develop your skill, and then when you're comfortable, move back. And I just moved it back about five yards, so we're probably a 15 yard mark. There we go. Go ahead. Ah! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching guys. There you go. There's my two bits on this. It's I'm not impressed yet with my abilities, but again, one has to become comfortable with it and give it time. And this is only a couple of days. So, so far, so good. I'm making progress and that's all you can expect. That's all you can ask for. And consistency in gaining a little bit each time you try.